husband be dead. No, drunk. But if the husband be dead. Lame. If the husband be dead. Lost his hair. But if the husband be dead. Gained too much weight. But if the husband be dead. Lost his job. But if the husband be dead. Come on, hypocrite. That's right. You can go to anybody's church under the sun after you hear this message. That's this right. message is going to follow you to the grave. Oh, yes. It ain't a hips or breasts or thighs or calf or womb is worth going to hell over. That's right. And some of you weak men are go to hell first before you first. give up that woman. Oh, she yeah. going to ride you right to hell. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Woman, what man is worth going to hell over? What, what man? You got a joint account. Yes. He got your name on the house of your deeds. Yeah. So what? That man worth going to hell over? Who is more important in life? That man or God? Go ahead. Who is more important in life? That woman or God? Yeah. You're not a Christian unless you obey God. Mm -hmm. Christian means to be Christ-like. How are you Christ-like riding on another man's Preach wife? It. Preach it. Am I right? For the woman which hath an husband. I know you're not used to this kind of preaching. I'm not used to this kind of preaching. You go to the churches where the preacher just play with you. God is good. God is great. You know, sugar preachers. Let the church say amen. Say it. You see, I, I come from the hood. Oh, yeah. In the hood, we threw down two ways. We slap box or we body box. <clears throat> you see, my preaching ain't like this. We come to you. Repent. <laughs> Be baptized. In the name of become with Bible. Come with the scriptures. And they're not used to that. Sometimes when grown men hear that hard preaching, grown men <laughs> can't take it. That's right. You sit around this sugar watered down religion that played with the name of Jesus. Yes. Let's understand something. It's heaven or hell. or hell. Do we got that clear? Amen. It's heaven or hell. or hell. There is no in between. It's God's way or no way. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? For the woman which hath an husband, woman that got a husband is bound by the law to her husband. How long? So long as he live in. What else? But if the husband be dead. If the husband be dead. This is plain now. But if the husband be dead. Not dying. Dead. Let the husband be dead. She is loosed from the law of her husband. Then she is loosed from the law of the husband. So then if. If. Why, listen how plain this is. Romans chapter 7 <clears throat> now in verse 3. So then if. While her husband live in. While. Her husband is still living. She be married to another man. She is married to another, 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 another man. What did God call her? She shall be called an adulteress. No, she's a Christian. She shall be called an adulteress. But she's She shall be called an adulteress. But she's the preacher's mother. She shall be called an adulteress. She's the pastor's daughter. She shall be called an adulteress. She's the pastor's sister. She shall be called an adulteress. She's on the choir. She shall be called an adulteress. She's an usher. She shall be called an adulteress. She's an organ player. She shall be called an adulteress. She bake all the sweet potato pies in the chest. She shall be called an adulteress. She's a mother in the chest. She shall be called an adulteress. Your mama. She shall be called an adulteress. Your grandmama. She shall be called an adulteress. Amen. You see why they mad at Pastor Jen? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. All these spare tires these bishops had. <laughs> and you sit right there and look at it. Okay. How did we get comfortable with this religious recycled trash? That's right. Some of you, your daddies may be a preacher. And his wife is not your mama. He left your mama and got a second wife and up in the pulpit. Let the church say, What good He ain't saying nothing. That's right. Nothing. That's right. Nothing. It shocks people. 
When they see us travel around the world, there's so many people is running to this message. Yeah. Everybody yeah. don't want all this watered down stuff. That's right. Even the sinner know this junk out here ain't church. No. He don't have no respect for it. No. He have no regard for it. No, no. He know church is not supposed to be like the way it is now. That's right. You may not like how we sound, but you know church ain't supposed to be like it is now. Oh, yeah. All of this religious entertainment in church, mm. all hiding under the name of Jesus, playing with your soul. That's right. All right, let's go back to the book of Corinthians now. Back in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 10. Follow me. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want to call your attention, St. Louis, mm. that everybody. That ye all speak the same thing. There should not be no different religions. And St. Louis or any place else in the world, you're supposed to be able to go in every religious setting and hear the message of holiness. That's right. That's all the apostles preached. That's it. That's all God gave them. God gave them. And that's all I have to offer. That's right. Only thing what's in the word of God is the only thing I have to offer. Yeah. How you were born again. Go to the Bible and see how you were yeah. born again according to scripture, not according to tradition. Let's go to the Bible That's and it. see how you're born again. Not bow your head and raise your hand. You've done that stuff. You know more born again than a pigeon can land on your shoulder and build a nest and lay eggs on it. That's right. You're not born again. Bow your head and raise your hand. Don't you know when you're in that position, you're in trouble? <laughs> <clears throat> you walk around like this, somebody got something pulled on you. <laughs> Bible ain't tell you to bow your head and raise your hands. No. Why are you doing it? Why are you doing it? Bible ain't tell you hold a preacher's hand and pray a sinner's prayer. Why are you doing it? That's right. The Bible ain't never said if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart, you are saved. You want to say you're wrong, Pastor Jennings. I read that. No, you did not. No, you did not. Bible ain't never said if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart, you are saved. Romans chapter 10, verses 9 and 10. This is what it says. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus. That what? And shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead. What? Thou shalt be saved. No, you are. Thou shalt oh. be saved. You see the difference? That's right. The preacher says you are when you do it. The right. Bible ain't say that. Thou shalt be saved. Now when the Bible said thou shalt be, that lets me know you got more to do. That's right. You got more to do. In St. Mark chapter 16 and verse 16. Look at all this tradition. Bow your head, raise your hand, pray a sinner's prayer. Sign your name on the roll book and you're a member of the church. Remember. Look at some liar on television and he tell you, repeat after me, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I'm a sinner. Wash me white as snow. Cleanse me. And the preacher said, if you said these things, my friend, you're a Christian. You're saved. You're no more saved than a bear wear a tuxedo. <laughs> <laughs> Who told you you were saved? Amen. Then if you save that way, why can't you go to the Bible where the apostles preach that stuff? That's right. Tradition. That's right. I'm sent to break up That's right. tradition. That's right. I believe in Holy Ghost tradition. That's right. The tradition of God. So if any of you that can bow your head and raise your hand and claim you accept Christ and walk around claim you're saved and repeat sinners pray, you went to some church. And the choir starts singing in the background. For you, I'm praying. And the preacher said, anybody want a church home? Come on up. And you came on up, your wig half hanging off, your fake eyelashes dangling. And brother, your pants is hanging down, showing your underwear that you haven't changed in three weeks. My Lord. And you stand there holding the hands of a bunch of homosexual elders. Mm. And they all trying to give you a sinner's prayer. And you talking about you saved. You're not saved. No. I'm not going to tell you like most preachers. I'm sorry to tell you this. I mean to tell you this. <laughs> you ain't none of you saved That's unless right. you got it like the scripture said. That's right. Well, Pastor Jennings, what about being baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost? All right, let's get Matthew let's get 20 and 19. 19. Let's explain this. That's right. Let's take it apart and break it down and put it back together with Bible. Matthew chapter 28 and verse 19. First of all, Jesus, I want you to hear, have never told nobody to be baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That's right. I want to say what? I say again. Jesus has never told nobody be baptized simply Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That's right. There's a key word there yeah. where Jesus gave instructions 
how to be baptized. That's right. Listen at this. Matthew chapter 28 and verse 19. Follow me. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. That's what's needed now. Teaching. Teaching. You got enough church jumping in. People jumping over pews and preachers trying to be dramatic and screaming microphones. <laughs> All that stuff telling somebody being flushed down the toilet. That's right. Like they're going down in a garbage disposal. That's right. There's enough of that now. Yeah. We're going to itemize this plane. Mm -hmm. Listen. Matthew 28 and, and I verse want everybody 19. here to check up on your salvation and see are you born again like the Bible says. Never mind Pastor Jennings. That's right. Like the word of God declares here. That's all right. right. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Teach them. Baptizing them in the name of the Listen, Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. This is how the preachers have said it. Baptizing in the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. In the name of the Holy Ghost. The Bible didn't say that. No. Mm -mm, the Bible didn't say that. No. It says baptized in the N-A-M-E. Singular. Baptizing them in the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. And this is how ignorant the preachers are. They went to cemetery school. <laughs> Learning the knowledge of the dead. That's right. So they went to cemetery school and came out and didn't know no better. That's right. And baptized thousands for years. Stank them in water. I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Take it down, bring you up. Take it down, bring you up. And none of them done it right. That's right. Before you can baptize in the name, pay attention to me real good. Or you can baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. You have to know the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Jesus said baptize in the name, in the name. of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That's right. How in the world can you baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost if you don't know the name, the name. of the Father, Son and Holy Ghost. That's so right. when you don't know the name, the preacher just stand you in water and just say, I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. You said you was going to do it, but you never called the name. That's right. I'm a father. I'm a son. I'm a husband. But what's my name? That's right. Remember in the 60s? Well, Ali... Cassius Clay's name was changed to Muhammad Ali, who was boxing this one fella. Fella wouldn't call his name. He asked him, what's my name? What's, what's my name? He wanted him to declare his name. That's right. The name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost must be declared when you're baptized. You got to call the name of it. That's right. Not just say, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. No. Jesus didn't tell you to do that. Go ye therefore, and teach, go ye therefore and teach all nations. Baptizing them in the name. Do what? Baptizing them in the name. Do what? Baptizing them in the name. It is that one word that your pastor overlooked. That's it. And everybody that was simply baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, were baptized wrong. That's right. Because you didn't obey what Jesus said. No. Baptizing them. Baptizing them in the name. In the name. Of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Now. In Matthew 28, 19, nobody was being baptized there. The apostles was given instructions how to baptize. Matthew 28, 19 was fulfilled in Acts 2, 38. In Matthew 28, 19, they was being told what to do. In Acts 2, 38 is where it was actually done. Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. Follow me. Then Peter said unto them, repent. And do what? And be baptized, every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That's right. Just like the name Jennings is the name of this son, husband, and father. That's right. I'm a son by birth. I'm a husband by marriage. I'm a father because we got children. Yeah. But what's my name? Jennings. Jennings. He's father because he created the universe. He bears the title son because the father was manifested in the flesh and used flesh as a pattern to redeem us. That's right. He's called Holy Ghost or Holy Spirit because he's the keeper and the protector of the church. That's right. Not Trinity. No. But titles of the one God. That's right. He got many titles. Yeah. He's called the I am that I am. He's called the husband man. He's called the true vine. 
many titles. He's called the creator. He's called Lord God Almighty. He's called Holy One of Israel. But how many is that? One. One. Many titles. There's one passage in it. I got many titles. <laughs> many titles. Sons, husband, father, preacher, minister, boxer, crippler, wrestler. <laughs> Many titles. Many titles. Glory be to God, but I'm one preacher. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you see what I'm telling you? That's right. So you that were baptized and the preacher just took you in the water, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, all you did was got wet. Yeah. Yeah. Your salvation never started. That's right. You never was baptized right because the preacher did not understand what Jesus said. That's right. Now, the question is this. Did the apostle obey Jesus? Because Jesus told his apostles to do what? Go ye therefore and teach all nations. He told them to do what? Go ye therefore. Go. 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 He told them go. Go. That's it. That's right. Now we're going to examine everywhere they went. That's right. Go ye therefore. And teach all nations. Teach everybody. Baptizing them in the name he's of given, the Father. He's given his apostles clear instructions. Yeah. I want you everywhere you go, I want you baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. The Holy now Ghost. let's see that the apostles understand Jesus and obey Jesus. You better give me Luke 24, 47. 47. First, let's see that they understand what Jesus told them. Luke chapter 24 and verse 47. That's what? And that repentance and remission of sins. The Bible says, then open he. Uh, Luke chapter 24 and verse 45. That's what? Then open he their understanding. Then open he the understanding of the apostles that they may do what? That they might understand the scriptures. Now the apostles understood what Jesus said. That's right. Now I want you to follow me in your Bible. I want you to follow me. We're going to trail the apostles trail the apostle. because Jesus told them to go in all the world. That's right. Now we're going to follow the apostles everywhere they went right. and see how they baptized and see that they baptized anybody and said, Father, Son, the Holy Ghost. Acts chapter 2. And like, I, you know, like your pastor is doing. Right. Like your blind bishop is doing. Like your blind elder is doing. That's right. Baptizing all his congregation, Father, Son, the Holy Ghost. He opened the understanding of the apostles. That's Let's right. see did they do what Jesus said do. Acts chapter 2 and at verse 38. That's what? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Wait a minute. God wants you to repent. Repent. Now, when you repent, you got to be sorry about your wrong. That's right. God wants some conviction. You out here smoking and drinking and gambling and partying, shooting dice, playing cards, drinking liquor, smoking crack, smoking reefer for municipal purposes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> ah, Amen. Glory to God. God wants some repentance. That's right. Hallelujah to God. That's right. You see what I'm telling you? Amen. Living together, not married. Shacking up, Christian shacking up. What's the matter with you? How in the world you get this deceiving so comfortable? Shacking up, Christian, just walking around in your drawers at night <laughs> down, sitting around with your girlfriend eating eggs and all. Well, Pastor Jimmy, he promised to marry me. We were living together for five years, and I've been wondering why he won't marry me. He ain't gonna marry you. You keep giving up those free goods. That's right. Are you that big of a fool? Amen. Am I right, I said? Amen. The word of God said. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized. And be baptized. Every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. That's the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. For what? For the remission of sins. And then? And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. I want you to follow me in the Bible. I'm going to show you every place where the apostles baptized and not one. Said, I baptize you, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And you better not tell me they didn't obey Jesus. That's right. They obeyed Jesus because he told them, go into mm -hmm. all the world. That's right. And every place they went, they baptized in his name, not his titles. No. Listen. Acts chapter 8, now at verse 16. Says what? For as yet he was fallen upon none Give of them. Give chapter and verse again. Acts chapter 8, and we're at verse 16. Now we're down in Samaria. That's right. All right. For as yet he was fallen upon none For of them. For as yet the Holy Ghost didn't fall on them yet. Only they were baptized. How? In the name of the Lord Jesus. Did you hear that? That's right. For they got baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus in Samaria. That's Let's right. keep traveling. Now in Acts chapter 10, we'll start at verse 44. Not, no one has said follow us on the Holy Ghost yet? Not yet. And yet they obey Jesus. That's right. I want you to check up on your salvation and see how you got baptized by some false prophet. 
Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you went down wet and came up wet, and you was innocent. You was a victim. You thought you were saved. You was down in the water, splashing it on everybody, right. getting all happy, waving your hands around, just to run up on a Truth of God program to find out all you got was wet. That's it. Down in the water, causing all that trouble, shaking. <laughs> Flashing everybody. Flashing everybody. <laughs> That's right. All right. Acts chapter 10, we're at verse 44. Come on, William. While Peter yet spake these words, the now Holy Ghost. Now here you had Peter, the apostle of Jesus Christ. That's right. While he was preaching the word of God, the Holy Ghost fell on everybody that heard the word. And they of the circumcision which believed were astonished. They that was already circumcised were amazed. As many as came with Peter, because, because that were the Gentiles the also. the Gentiles also was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. How did they know they had it? For they heard them speak with tongues. And what? And magnify God. Now here you had people receive the Holy Ghost first before right. he was baptized right. but the apostle Peter wouldn't let them get away then because he Peter. remembered the words of Jesus that he told Nicodemus Jesus said verily verily I say unto you except a man is born of the water and of the spirit he cannot enter into the kingdom when you're born of the water you're baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ when you're born of the spirit you're filled with the spirit by the spirit from the spirit which is the Holy Ghost speaking in other tongues at the spirit of the living God give utterance just like they did on the day of Pentecost. That's right. All right. For, for they heard them speak with tongues and oh, magnified God. they heard God. them speak in tongue and got happy. And then answered Peter. God. Then answered Peter, can any man forbid water? All right, if anybody here got the Holy Ghost first, hmm. you still got to come on back and get baptized. That's right. You still got to get your sins washed away. That's right. Someone said the Holy Ghost wash away your sins. No, it don't. Oh, no. No, I'm going to show you what the Holy Ghost do. Give me the first chapter of the book of Acts. Book of Acts. And then you better give me the book of Acts. I'm going to show you what baptism do. That's I right. want to certify as I lay some brick here yeah. Yeah. with some Bible. You know, the Holy Ghost come to keep you. Huh? Yeah. Right. Holy Ghost don't come to wash away your sins. No. They case blood to wash away your sins. That's right. That's why when he was on the cross and they pierced him in the side, out came blood and water. And the way you get that blood, you got to go to water. water. That's but right. But in the first chapter of the book of Acts, it says what? Acts chapter 1, we're at verse 8. What is but it? But ye shall receive power. Ye shall receive power. After that, after the Holy that Ghost has come upon you. Come upon and you. ye shall be witness and unto me. And ye shall be witness unto me. Both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria. Yes. And unto the uttermost part of the earth. What else? At first Peter chapter 1 and at verse 5. Says what? Who are kept who are kept by the power of God. Who are kept by the Holy Ghost. That, 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 See, that's right. the purpose about the Holy Ghost. That's right. Holy Ghost come to keep you. That's because right. Because you know you got a fleshy will and your will is against God's will and you need a power greater than your flesh to bring your flesh under subjection. That's why you need the Holy Ghost, meaning you need God, God. in you. That's right. That's right. I'm not talking about this homemade Holy Ghost where you go through a fake revival and an old slick head liar will tell you, when I count to three, you're going <laughs> to speak in tongues. One, two, three. And a whole turkey farm church go on. <laughs> That's that devil That's out of hell. That's the devil. That's right. That's the devil. You forgot what the second chapter of Acts of the Apostles said. Acts chapter when 2 and verse 4. When they the Holy Ghost, it was as the Spirit give the utterance. That means God uttered that tongue out of you and no preacher can turn it on or turn it off. That's right. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. Any of you go to a church. Go ahead, brother. And that preacher can tell you when to speak and when to shut up. You ain't got the real Holy Ghost. That's right. You got the bishop's ghost. That's right. You ain't got no Holy Ghost. In Acts chapter 2 and at verse 4. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And began to speak with other tongues. As what? As the Spirit. As who? As the Spirit gave them utterance. Let's find out who is the Spirit. John 4, 24. Scripture says God is a Spirit. The Bible says in John 4, John 24, 24, and verse 24. God. God is a Spirit. Is a Spirit. God. And they God did. is a Spirit. That's right. And they that worship, that him, worship him must worship must him. Worship him in spirit, in spirit and in truth. Now any time a preacher can come in anybody church and tell you the Holy Ghost is talking to me now, the Holy Ghost is talking to me now, the Holy Ghost is going to fall, the Holy Ghost is going to fall. And when I count the three, stand on your feet, everybody going to speak in tongues. One, two, three. Pepsi, Cola, Cadillac, Ginger Ale. That's right. And you church going suckers fall for it. Fall for it. Nuh-uh, you ain't, that's not God, that's no. the devil. That's right. 
You don't have the Holy Ghost like they got in the day of Pentecost. And they you won't. got the devil in you. That's right. This thing comes from God. That's the right. Holy Ghost is God. God. Now, how can a preacher can dictate when God speaks and when God stops? Go ahead. The Holy Spirit is God. That's right. How can a man come before you and tell God what to do, when to do it, how? God have no ruler. That's right. Nobody rules over God. Yeah. Right. Bible speak plain as the Spirit as the Spirit gave them gave utterance. utterance. If you knew the law of Scripture, no false prophet can come in your town, in your church, and duke you and con you. That's right. Liars come out in there. The Lord's talking to me and told me to tell you there's ten thousand dollars in the house. He the lost shot, tell the lost shot, tell the lost shot, tell the lost. Anybody want a blessing? Anybody want a blessing? Anybody want a blessing? Anybody, he just keep repeating. <laughs> Anybody want a blessing? Anybody want a blessing? The Lord told me to tell you if you want a blessing, if you want a blessing, if you want a blessing, He wants you to dig deep, dig deep, dig deep, dig deep, dig deep. That's because the Lord told me to tell you if there's, if, if you give that ten thousand dollars, God will give it back to you. He's a salesman. That's right. Brother, he laid that rap on you, and this is what religion has done. Religion got you thinking that God will not do nothing for you unless you give money. Right. That's a fake God. That's, that's right. That's a fake God. That's right. You ain't got to have a dime for God to do something for you. That's right. Jesus taught us, the poor, you will have with you always. always. Money does not determine God to move. No, no. It is your faithfulness and your obedience that determines God moving. That's right. The greatest offering you can give God is not money. The greatest offering you can give God is your life. You're right. Are you listening? That's right. Let's finish up the baptism trail. Now in the book Come of on, Acts, son. still in Acts 10 at verse 47. All right. Can any man forbid, Can water, anybody forbid water that these should not be baptized, which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we? And what did Peter do? And he commanded them. Wait a minute. Baptism. Is you see that to bump the lies they told in church? Baptism is an outward sign of inward grace. That's he's a liar. That's a liar. You've got to be baptized. And he commanded he them. Com not ask. Not request. No. He commanded he them, ordered them to be baptized How? in the name of the Lord. All right, keep traveling. Acts chapter 19, and we're I starting in verse 1. I want to show you every place the apostles baptized. They baptized in the name of Jesus Christ because that's the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. That's right. They, oh, Jesus told them what to do, and they went and obeyed what he said. That's right. All right. Acts chapter 19, we're starting at verse 1. Acts 19, begin at verse 1. And it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth. While Apollos was at Corinth. Paul, having passed through the upper coast, came to Ephesus. And did what? And finding certain disciples. He found certain followers. And said unto them, have ye received the Holy Ghost since ye believed? Do you have the Holy Ghost since you've been a believer? And what did they say? And they said unto him, we have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. What else did Paul ask them? And he said unto them, unto what then were ye baptized? That's what I'm asking you tonight. Hmm. Thank Lord. How were you baptized? That's right. How were you baptized? That's right. Well, Pastor Jennings, in my church, we were told you ain't got to be baptized. Well, hmm. Pastor Jennings, in my church, we were sprinkled. Hmm. Pastor Jennings, I bowed my head and raised my hand and accept Christ. Pastor Jennings, I prayed a sinner's prayer. Pastor Jennings, I just signed my name on the roll book, and the preacher gave me a brown envelope and told me to pay my dues. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> ah! That's right. Oh, we take God, what did he say? He said unto them, have you received the Holy Ghost have since you believe? Have you believed? received the Holy Ghost since you've been a believer? And they said unto him, we have not we so have much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. Be in the Holy Ghost. And he said unto them, unto what then were ye baptized? That's my question. I did. I don't care how big you are, how rich, how broke. How old, how young. God mm. don't care what you own. No. One thing I say about the grave is not prejudice. That's right. I find rich folk and poor folk down in the grave. Yeah. I don't care if the rich man casket is a whole block of gold. And here's the poor man that just wrapped up in rags. Yeah. If the poor man died with God and the rich man died without God, the poor man is in a better place than the rich man. That's right. Are you getting it? Amen. 
Listen. And he said unto them, Unto what then were ye baptized? How were you baptized? And they said unto John's we baptism. Got John baptism. Then said Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance. This will show you that if you got it wrong, you got to get it over. That's right. Because John disciples were actually baptized by with the baptism of John the Baptist. That's right. And as the Baptist folks say, well, we take, we trace our religion back to John. Well, you in trouble. <laughs> because John said, I'm not the light. I'm not the light. I come to bear witness of the light. That's right. John said, the one that come after me, he's mightier than I. He's going to baptize you with the Holy Ghost and that with fire. That's right. Amen. So if you rely on John to be a Baptist, John the Baptist doesn't mean he had the Baptist religion. No. Not at all. John the Baptist simply addressed his occupation. John the Baptist means John the Baptizer. That's it. He was a baptizer, not that his religion was Baptist. That's right. Because John preached Jesus. Yeah. All right. And he said unto them, Unto what then were ye baptized? How were you baptized? And they said unto John's got baptism. John's baptism. Then said Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance. Saying what? Saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him. And who is that? That is on Christ Jesus. What did John followers do when they heard this? When they heard this, they were baptized How? in the name of the Lord Jesus. All right. And when Paul. Yeah. Church of God in Christ, yes. members. When you hear this, what should they do? They were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Methodists, what should you do? They were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Baptists, what should you do? They were baptized in the name of the Lord Five Jesus. Five percenters, what should you do? They were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Mormon, what should you do? They were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hebrew Israelite, what should you do? They were baptized in the name of the Lord well, Jesus. Baptist, there were no J's in Hebrew, that's right. <laughs> So I baptize the name of Yahushua Hamashiach. Either way, I get you in your Hebrew language. That's right. And then I come back again and say it in English, Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's right. When they heard this, when they, heard it, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. I don't Jesus. care what language you say it in, I'm going to plant Jesus on you and never get out from under it. That's right. Uh -huh. And when Paul had laid his hands upon laid them, hands the them. Holy Ghost came on them. And what did they do? And they spake with tongues and prophesied. <laughs> now in the book of Colossians chapter 3. Look at all this Bible here. Colossians chapter 3 and verse 17. The one thing I say about holiness, it challenges your so-called Bible belief. That's right. Challenge it. Oh, make yes. you see how you've been taught wrong for years. Oh, yes. It'll make you angry with these preachers, too. <laughs> That's right. Giving them money, building these churches and organizations all these years, leading you to hell. Amen. Walking around thinking you were saved. Making mm. potato salad and frying chicken and fat back and eating all them hot dogs and helping building <laughs> churches and all that stuff, having food drives, making pound cake. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Pound cake, <laughs> lemon cake. Amen. And making peanut brittle and all that stuff. And having your children going out selling box of candy beans and greasy cups and saving box tops off cereal, Captain Crunch and Fruit Loops. Just that die and go to hell. That's right. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. This is so plain. Oh, yes. What is it? Colossians chapter 3 and verse 17. Mm -hmm. And whatsoever ye do in word. This is, look, here. Did you hear what the word of God said? And whatsoever ye do, do in word. Or deed. How should it be done? Do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Giving baptism is a deed. That's right. And there are words uttered in that baptism. That's right. And the word of God speak plain. And whatsoever ye do. Why is it your bishop don't see this? Amen. He see it. He see to use the name of Jesus Christ to take your money. Yeah. He say the name of the Lord Jesus fast to take your money. That's right. But when it comes to baptism, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, and then he lies and said, "We doing what Jesus said. You did not. <laughs> no, you didn't. You did not. Everybody that was baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, were baptized wrong. Right. Everybody, not some of you. Everybody. Everybody. The entire state of Missouri." Mm. that were baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost is not baptized. That's right. Not a preacher, not a bishop, not an elder, not a pastor, not a church organization in Missouri and the rest of the world is baptized right. That's right. If you've been baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost because Jesus said do it in, in the, the name. name of it. In the name, the name. of it. That's it. In the name of it. Baptizing them in the name. In the name. Of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. And now we come preaching in the name 
of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And that name is the name of Jesus Christ. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed. Whatever you do in word or deed. Do all. How? In the name of the Lord Jesus. That's the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That's it. So all of you that was baptized in the previous year, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you ain't baptized. You got wet. Got wet. Not only you got to be baptized over, including your pastor. That's right. He's still a sinner. That's it. Don't you know the purpose of baptism is to wash away your sins? Acts chapter 22 and verse 16. Listen at this. Acts 22 and verse 16. And what? And now why tarries thou? Why you wait? What you waiting for? Arise. Get up. And be baptized. And wash away thy Don't sins. Don't wait on your mother or wait on your girlfriend or wait on your boyfriend. Right. Your soul don't belong to your man. That's right. Your That's soul right. don't belong to your woman. That's right. God said our souls are mine. That's right. Do you hear this? And now why tarries thou? What you waiting for? Tarry me to wait. What you waiting for? Arise. Don't ask him, well, what are you going to do, Sam? Don't you worry about what Sam going to do. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Oh, weak man. Well, honey, honey. what you going to do? What are you asking her for? <laughs> Is she your mama? <laughs> That's right. The Bible says save yourself. Save yourselves. Save yourself. That's it. Did you hear the word of God talking? And now why tarries thou? What are you waiting for? Arise. Get up. And be baptized. Glory to God. Glory to God and be baptized. And wash away thy sins. Get your sins. sins washed away. Calling on the name of the Lord. When I baptize, I got to call on who? Calling on the name of the Lord. Let's find out what is the Lord's name. Acts chapter 9 and verse 5. Acts chapter 9 and verse 5 says. And he said, who art thou, Lord? Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said. And the Lord said. I am Jesus. You see, you just can't get away from this to save your life. That's right. He said, be baptized in the name of the Lord. And then the Lord told you who he was. And the Lord said, I am and Jesus. And the Lord said. I am Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Everybody in Missouri got to go back in water again. That's right. If you're not baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, you're not baptized right. That's right. You're still a sinner. Amen. And a preacher tricked you. Yeah. He lied to you. Amen. I thought I was a Christian. All right. You can dream you was a millionaire. <laughs> and wake up still broke as you can be. That's right. When I was a child, I dreamt I could fly. <laughs> uh -huh. And I dreamed it was so real, I remember getting up on my bed. Amen. I was sleeping in bed with my brother, and I <laughs> dove off. But when I hit the floor, revelation came to me. <laughs> I mean, I hit the floor too, brother. I, I bounced off that bed, glory to God, and went up. And the floor got closer and closer. <laughs> you know I was a fool and a good fool. <laughs> my, my brother woke up. Nicky, what you doing? I said, I dreamt I can fly. I jumped off the bed. He said, get in this bed, stupid. Never tried it again. <laughs> oh, it's Jones. I never tried it again. When I hit that floor, knowledge came. <laughs> I hit it so hard, I got knowledge. Hallelujah. I got understanding. <laughs> I got great revelation. great revelation. Never tried I such a dumb thing again. That's what I'm telling you now. That's right. Once you get the knowledge of how to be baptized, don't you go back to that false church and try to go get some Father, Son, and Holy Ghost baptism and then think you obeying Jesus. That's right. You're not doing what Jesus say do. No. He said do it in the name. Mm -hmm. And thank God we have the knowledge of what that name is. That's right. And being that we have the knowledge of what that name is, we can bring that name. Yeah. The Bible said neither is there salvation in any other. For there is no other name under heaven given mm -hmm. among men whereby you must, must be, be saved. saved. And look how the devil tricked the religions that's baptized in this way. Oh, yeah. Catholics do it, Protestants do it, Lutheran do it, Episcopalian do it, Pentecostal do it, non-denominational do it, Baptists do it, Methodists do it. That's right. All these folks baptized, Father, Son, and the Holy mm -hmm. Ghost, and God, and Jesus said, do it in, in, the, the, name. Name in the name of it. That's it. Think of it. And all these millions don't know the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. A preacher leading people don't even know who's the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That's right. That's right. He says three, three what? Amen. 
Come tell me that I take the Bible and slap that three God out of you. <laughs> very first commandment is hero is you the Lord our God is one. one I'm a father I'm a son I'm a husband is it three of me no, no. I fulfill all those titles that's right. God ain't three that's why he got the title Elohim yeah. Elohim mean plural plural what he's plural in works that's right he's plural in deeds but he's not plural in God that's it. he do many mighty works what is he he's a healer still one God that same healer is a redeemer Still one God. That same Redeemer is a provider. Still one God. That same provider is a Savior. That's right. But he's, hallelujah, glory to God, but he's still one still God. One God. He's Alpha and Omega. He's the beginning and the end. He said, I'm the first and the last, which is and was and is to come and be almighty. But how, how many is it? Many one. Is one God. He's everything. That's right. Huh? That's right. He's the almighty. He's everything, but he's not a woman and he's not a man. And he's not a female. That's God right. is a spirit. God is a spirit. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 1 10. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank Lord, thank Lord, thank Lord. You might as well get ready to pack up and leave your churches if you haven't done it already. That's right. I was scheduled to look at some churches today. I mean, I'm looking to set up a church here. It's just I have to do this everywhere I go. Everywhere you go. Amen. Everywhere we go in the world, we set up churches to get the people out of these old fake false churches. Yeah. And then we're going to drop a telecast here, drop a stick of dynamite so we can level the city. <laughs> level the city. And I don't care what preacher start hollering. If the preacher start hollering, we got the thing that closed his mouth tight. Oh, yeah. The Bible said, for so it is the will of God that was well doing. You put the silence and ignorance of foolish men. When we travel around the world, we don't play church. We out to save souls. That's right. Just like we out to save souls, the devil is out to destroy souls. Yeah. That's why I say moreover, it is a war for souls. Oh, yes. I know many of you would get hard-headed and get stubborn and say, I'm saved and God, I don't what you say. Don't blame it on me because you baptized wrong. That's right. Well, I'd rather obey Jesus than obey the apostles. Let me give you some knowledge. You can't obey Jesus without obeying the apostles. St. Luke chapter 10 and Wait that verse 6. You mean to tell me I can't obey Jesus without obeying the apostles? Give me the book of Luke. St. Luke chapter 10 and that verse 16. You think you can kick the apostles aside? Hmm. <laughs> really? Really. You think you can kick the apostles aside and just jump up to Jesus? <laughs> That's right. No. When you obey the apostles, you obey Jesus. That's right. Let me show you this in the Bible. Luke chapter 10 and at verse 16. Look at what Jesus told his apostles. He that he heareth you. That listens to you. Heareth me. Listens to me. And he that despiseth he you. He that hate you. Despiseth me. Hates me. And he that despiseth he me. He that don't want to hear you. Despiseth oh, him. Say God don't want to hear me. That sent me. Can you hear this? That's right. So if you don't hear the apostle. Hallelujah. Get Jesus name out your mouth. That's right. That's right. Come on back to Bible. Amen. Oh, we thank God. That's what got me pleading with creation. That's right. Come on back. This old modern church, we're going to blast it back to hell. Yeah. Amen. We're going to blast it back to hell with God's eternal word. Amen. Amen. I believe in that old-fashioned holy. Hallelujah. Oh, Glory oh, to yes. God. That old-fashioned holy ghost. Oh, yes. This modern stuff that's, you know, folks got this cute holy ghost. Hallelujah. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Ah, Shalala. Oh, Glory. <laughs> Even the men act like women. Hallelujah. That's that. That's the devil. devil what hell. That's right. Huh? Amen. Go and say, God, do you hear what it said? He that heareth you. You can't get around the apostles. No. You can't get around them at all. Oh, no. Amen. So this is what everybody got to do. You got to get baptized over. Oh. All of you that was baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, none of you are saved. That's right. Well, Pastor Jen and water don't save you no way. Mm. In the first chapter first Peter, Peter chapter 3. Follow me in your Bible. First Peter chapter 3. We're starting at You're verse 20. You're not baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You ain't never been saved. Who? You or your mama. <laughs> That's right. And your daddy. Amen. And your husband and your children. Oh, yes. You talking to me? Yes. I'm talking to you. That's right. Do you hear what I'm telling you? If you ain't never been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, you ain't never been saved. You cannot be saved without water. That's right. 
Let's get Bible for it. First Peter chapter 3, we'll start reading at verse 20. Never mind what your bishop said. Yeah. Baptism is an outward sign and inward grace. Come show me that scripture. Show That's me where right. the Bible said that. I'll make you lick that lie up. That's right. Bible ain't never said it. Baptism is an outward sign and inward grace. No, that's an outward lie told by an inward devil. Amen. Do you hear this? First Peter chapter 3, verses 20 and 21. What of God said? Which sometime were disobedient. Sometime, give chapter and verse again. First Peter chapter 3, we'll start reading at verse 20. Verse, all right. Which sometime were disobedient. Which sometime were disobedient. When once the long suffering of God waited in the days of Noah. What happened? While the ark was a preparing, wherein few, that is, eight souls. The apostle Peter went back and educated us on what happened in the days of Noah. Okay. He said in the old time, eight souls. Were saved by water. Now tell us how baptism works for us today. The like figure whereunto. That's like Back then, when they were saved or delivered by water. Even baptism doeth also now save us. No bishop said it's outward sign and inward grace. Even baptism doeth also now save us. No, I ain't got to be baptized. My bishop told me I ain't got to be baptized. I can be saved without water. Even baptism doeth also now save us. No, ain't what? Not for putting away of the filth of the flesh. You ain't getting down there to wash your body. But the answer of a good conscience toward God. Glory to God. By the resurrection of Jesus Christ. If you're not baptized Hallelujah. in water. In water. In the name of Jesus Christ, which is above all other names. That's right. You're not saved tonight. tonight. Be it known unto you all. Be it known. Get uh, chapter and verse. Acts chapter 4, we'll start reading in verse 10. Be it known to everybody. And to all the people of Israel. That, what? that by the name of Jesus Christ of Holy Nazareth. Be to God by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Whom ye crucified. Whom, ye crucified, whom God raised whom from the God dead. God raised from the dead. Even by him doeth this man stand here before you hold. Is this? this is the stone is which the was stone set in order of you build. Which has become the head of the corner. Uh -huh. Neither is there salvation. Neither. Amen. Glory be to God. Glory to God. Neither is there salvation, is there salvation in, any in any other. For there is but none other name no under other. heaven. Do you hear the Bible speaking so plain here? Neither is there salvation in any that other. much love in you for the name of Jesus Christ under the sun. You're going to fight his name in baptism. That's right. It ain't no one save, always save. You liar. That's a lie. What, Pastor Jenny? It ain't no one save, always save. No, no. You mean to tell me I can lose salvation? Yes. Yes. Where's that at, Pastor? Second, second Corinthians, Second Chronicles, Chronicles. Rather, Second Chronicles, chapter fifteen, and we'll start at verse one. One save, always save. You tell your preacher I said he's a liar. <laughs> That's right. Any of you here that go to a church and the preacher tell you one save, always save, he's a robe wearing, slick head, shiny nail, cross wearing liar. <laughs> Amen. Once save, always save. Is once save, always save was true. I wouldn't be here, not in no Louis. I wouldn't be here in no St. Louis for what? <laughs> On Saturday night? Once save, always save. I wouldn't be here. No. I'd be somewhere. <laughs> hey, Pastor Jen, I thought you were saved. Look, once save, always save. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? I said. Amen. <laughs> Go and take God. One save, always save me. You can never backslide. That's right. You can never lose your grace. Right. Such a hypocrite in teaching that give you confidence in the lie. That's right. I'm going to show you in the Bible. God is only with you on terms. That's right. I'm going to show you in the Bible. God is only with you on terms. Second Chronicles chapter 15. Follow me in your Bible. This Second. is the book of Chronicles. Chapter 15. Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles. The 15th chapter. And at the very first verse. And begin at verse 1. Follow and, me. And the Spirit of God came upon Azariah, the Spirit son of, of God Oded. came upon Azariah, the son of Oded. And he went out and to meet Asa, Asa and said unto him, him. Here you meet Asa and all Here Judah and Benjamin. Me, Asa. And all Judah and, and Benjamin. all of Judah and Benjamin. The, Listen at this. The Lord is with you. The Lord is with you. While ye be with him. You want God to stay with you, you got to stay with him. And if you seek him. If you look for him. He will be found of you. He'll let you find him. But. Uh-oh. But. Uh-oh. Glory to God. God talking. But if you forsake but him. If you leave him. He will forsake you. That debunks. Once save, always save. That's right. Now you out here smoke. Here you done got baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive the genuine Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. 
walk with God for a while, all of a sudden you ran up on some boy or ran up on some girl, and you looked at her hips, they drug you out the church, you smelt his cologne, he drug you out the church, now you're out there acting like a fool for 10, 20, 30 years, and then you tell myself, well, I'm still saved. You's a backsliding sinner. But if you forsake him, if you leave God, he will forsake you. That's why you're smoking, because you left God. That's right. That's why you're drinking now, you left God. Yeah. That's why you got your second wife, because you left God. That's, right. That's why you're back out there cussing and partying and acting like a fool, because you left God. Now you're a bigot now. Right. Because you left God. You's a black supremacist. Because you left God. You's a white supremacist. Because you left God. The Holy Ghost has. But if you forsake him. If you leave God. He will forsake you. When you leave God, you leave God precepts. That's right. When you leave God, you leave God commandments. That's right. When you leave God, you leave God instructions. Mm -hmm. When you leave God, you leave God's order. And when you leave God, you got to live like a dog. That's right. You take a child that leave from under that house where there's discipline and rule, look at that child later how wild and foolish it is. Yeah. Because they're no longer under the rule of law. That's right. That's right. What happened to Adam when he disobeyed God? He got from under the rule of law and sin hit creation and folks been acting like a fool ever since. And now I'm traveling around the world laboring, laboring, oh, yeah. trying to get people of every ethnic group under the sun back under the umbrella of God's precepts and telling the world, come on back That's right. to Bible, come That's back. Right. Come back to God. That's right. They That's believe right. a lie quicker than they believe the scripture. Return ye backsliding Do you children. you hear the book of Jeremiah? Now in the book of Jeremiah, chapter three and verse 22. Return. Return ye backsliding children. Return ye backsliding children. And I, Here, you, you're a Christian, mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> With a cigarette hanging out your mouth. Christian. That's right. Blowing pipe. That's Christian right. chewing tobacco, spitting everywhere. That's right. Christian with a bar in your house. Christian with a Budweiser. Christian. Christian. Drink, drinking a toast with Jack and Daniels. <laughs> Christian Saturday night party and then going to church Sunday so you can feel good about your old wicked self. That's right. That's right. Christian, huh? You was a hypocrite and a heathen and a deceiver. Amen. Huh? Return, you backsliding Come children. Back. And I will heal your backslide. Yeah, somebody came to this meeting with their second wife and second husband. Yeah. Hey Amen. Your pork chop's still living. That's right. You can go to bed with your chicken all you want, but I'm going to pluck the feathers off all of you. Oh, yes. Hey Amen. Hey Amen. Well, Pastor Jennings, I know God gave me this second wife. Hmm. God going to change his word for you. You ain't that important. No. Pastor Jennings, what is it when you dream about the same man ten times? You can count ten times. Amen. <laughs> I don't care if you dream about the same man 10,000 times. <laughs> That's not going to change this word. The wife is bound by the law. What? In 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 39. She's bound? The wife is bound by the law. How long? As long as her husband lives. What happened? But if her husband be dead, dead? she is at liberty. Then you, then you at liberty. To be married to whom she will. How? Only in the Lord. But what got to happen? The, but if the husband be dead. That's it. Fred ain't dead. Bound by the law. You still bound. That's right. Pastor Jennings, I ain't going back to Fred. What am I supposed to do? Then you got to give your body to God. That's right. You don't have the right. I can't give you the right to give your body to no other man or to no other woman until they die. First Corinthians chapter 7, we'll start at verse 10. No bishop may give you the right, but I can't. No. Why? I'm scared of God. That's right. Eh? That's right. Oh, take God. I got to stay within the confines of God's everlasting word. That's right. All right. First Corinthians chapter 7, we'll start at verse 10. That's right. And unto the married I command, yet not I, but the Lord. What is it? Let not the wife depart from her husband. Don't let the wife leave the husband, but God knew everybody wasn't going to stay together. But, and if she so depart. what he did, he implemented law for those that do leave. That's right. Don't let the wife leave the husband, but. But, and if she depart. If she do leave, let her run off and get another man. Let her remain unmarried. No, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> That's right. Bishop said if she leaves, she can get a new husband. But and if she depart, let her remain unmarried. No, Bishop said when you got married and both of you were sinners, you can get rid of the sinner one and get yourself a saved Christian wife. But and if she depart, let her remain unmarried. Or, or be reconciled to her husband. If you want a man, you got to go back to the one you left and be reconciled. Otherwise, now you got to give your mind, body, soul, and spirit unto God. That's right. Now tell your bishop that. <laughs> That's right. That's right. This is God's law. Amen. So 
lot of folks don't speak in tongues over God's law. Have you noticed that? <laughs> they don't speak in tongues much over God's law. They don't, they don't run around the church much over God's law. Huh? That's right. They get there when if T.D. Jakes was up here yelling, woman, you're loose. <laughs> Find everybody running around flapping their arms like a bunch of damn dairy queens. Amen. And I come with the word of God straight down the line. Yeah. Telling you what the book says. Oh, yeah. Right then, folks are like, mm. I saw you here in the congregation, everywhere I go in the world. Mm. <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Woo. Some folks say, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Them blows hurt. That's right. Them blows hurt because that brother know when he go back home, he got another man's wife in his passenger seat of the front car. Mm. And now he's driving quiet and she's driving quiet and they cutting her eye at each other. Yeah. And man, she wants to know what you're going to do and he wants to know, what am I going to do? <laughs> but he's so attached to her thighs. Yeah. You're going to go to hell for them thighs. That's right. Well, Pastor Jennings, I know what my bishop told me. I don't care what your bishop, I don't care if your bishop is your daddy. Yeah. If your father told you it's all right to get another wife and your first wife's still living, tell your daddy I say he's a liar. He's a liar. And tell him why I'm here in St. Louis, Missouri. Come on down here and I'll beat the lie out of him with the Bible. That's right. Who? Your daddy. <laughs> That's right. And your pastor. That's right. I'm fighting for souls. Amen. That's what got me like this. Amen. I'm fighting for souls, taking them back from the hands of the enemy. That's right. What did Peter say? Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right. St. Louis, Missouri, it's time to get right. Time to get right. It's time to get right because you know you're wrong. That's right. Been baptized wrong all these years and claim you're saved and thought you was a Christian and Amen. And find out you wasn't nothing but still a sinner Jesus. getting robbed by a reverend hypocrite. Amen. 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 Here I come, God willing, with God everlasting word pointing you to the right thing and the only thing. Then Peter said to them, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. This is how you get your sins washed away. You must be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. Now, if there's anybody here who wants to obey God and want to get this right, and be baptized the right way in the name of Jesus Christ. Stand on your feet, St. Louis. If you want to be baptized, if you want to get it right. Wonderful. Stand on your feet if you want to get it right. Glory to God. All of you that are standing, go right there to the back, please. All of you that are standing, go right there to the back. All of you that are standing, glory to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> eh? I can tell you it's not another, gospel. not another gospel. It's not another. Do you see this, Joseph? Do you see it? Oh, and thank God this is the work of the apostles. And if this is, this is it. This is that. This is that. Jones, this is that. This is that. Everybody Hallelujah. must. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> First night. First night. This is the Lord's doing. Amen. First night. This is the Lord's doing. Everybody must get born again according to the way the Bible says it. Yeah. God willing, next week we'll be in Kansas City. Hallelujah. We'll be in Kansas City, Missouri, next weekend. Amen. We'll be at the uh, Hilton, Kansas City Airport, 8801 Northwest 112th Street. Saturday and Sunday, same time. Meet me over there in Kansas City when we thunder Kansas City and knock them over with the Bible. With the Bible. We'll be back here tomorrow at 11 o'clock again and again at 5 o'clock. Look at all them souls. Look at all them souls. Who can say the Lord is not in this? Amen. Oh, it's a God. Eh? This is the Work of God. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm telling the world, God sent me to do this. Amen. Amen. That's why he, he, he guarantees, he guarantees the truth of God results. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Results everywhere. 
Amen. I magnify God Hallelujah. tonight for this. Hallelujah. Amen. This is a great thing. Amen. I want my ministers to get themselves ready for baptism. And Brother Jones, both of you, get yourselves ready, brothers, for baptism. Amen. Baptize them. We got a good crowd there. Good crowd. We baptize more tonight than most preachers will. And 50 years they've been in the pulpit. Amen. 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 This is wonderful, isn't it? Glory First be night. to God. If you're not baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, I don't care who you are, you're not saved. Hmm? No, you, you, you ain't no. Somebody said, what about the thief on the cross, Pastor Jennings? He wasn't baptized. That's right. The reason why he wasn't baptized because the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ wasn't given then. Mm -hmm. The apostles didn't go everywhere and preach yet. He was saved by his faith because he, he, he believed that Jesus would deliver him. So therefore, he says, today, will thou be with me in paradise? Somebody said, well, he went to heaven. He didn't go to heaven. And he didn't ask to go to heaven either. No. I want to explain that quickly now quickly. before I let you go. Come on, son. You got to move fast Amen. because the clock is ticking. Because a lot of folk is thinking about the thief of the cross and say, I ain't got to be baptized. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, yes, you do. Come on, I'm going to get you and the thief and bring you right back to Bible. In the book of St. Luke, chapter 23. Well, Pastor, getting the thief went to heaven. No, he did not. No. Didn't the thief ask to go to heaven? No. No. You've been reading it wrong for years. That's right. Don't you know the Bible said no man has to send it up into heaven at any time? Any time. But he that came down, how the thief going to go in before Jesus? That's right. Well, the thief went to heaven. Not even Jesus when he died went to heaven right away. Wait. He went to the grave. That's right. And then came back and stayed around and then ascended up. And you're going to tell him the thief went in before him, you overlook something. Amen. That's why I thank God for the truth of God. We bring you back so you can go back and reinvestigate the scripture. That's right. Listen at this. St. Luke chapter 23, we'll start reading at verse 39. Follow me. And one of the malefactors which were hanged railed on him. One of the malefactors which was hanging there railed on him. Saying, if thou be Christ, save thyself and us. If you be Christ, save yourself and us. But the other answering rebuked him, saying, doest thou now fear God, seeing thou art in the same condemnation? Yes. And we indeed justly. All right. For we receive the due reward of our deeds. But yes. this man hath done nothing amiss. Come on, sir. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me. Listen. Look at what the thief said. Remember me. Remember me. When thou comest into thy kingdom. No, take me to heaven. Remember me when. No, take me to heaven. Remember me. He ain't asked Jesus to take him to heaven. No. He asked Jesus to remember him. When thou comest into thy kingdom. When you go in the kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say Verily unto I thee. I say to you. Today, today. Shalt thou be with me in paradise. Hold it. Oh, I said, you see that, Pastor Jennings? He took him to heaven the, that, that day. How are you, you going to take him to heaven that day? And he himself didn't go in that day. That's right. He said, today thou shalt be with me. In paradise. The question is, how was he with him? What did he ask Jesus to do? Remember me. That's how he was with him. That's it. Jesus remembered him. That's it. Meaning he thought of him. Right. What was the thought? He wanted Jesus to remember how when he was hanging here, his heart changed. That's he right. got convicted. Now he wants to be right. That's, That's right. what he wanted to remember. Not to get into the kingdom that day. No. It ain't nobody went to heaven that day. No. You going to beat Jesus in there? Amen. Preachers are so blind and deceived of their father to devil. The devil. Come on back to Bible and repent. That's it. And be baptized. Every one of you. St. Louis, we're going to start a church here. Amen. We're going to start a church here. That way, all of you that are baptized and want to walk with the word of God, you ain't got to drift out in the streets and go back to falsehood. That's right. That's huh? right. That's right. Amen. I've got to start a church here. Even if I got to get a place temporarily and rent just to get you out of your club that you call church. That's Amen. right. Amen. Thank God for all of you looking there. Amen. It's just a blessing to see it. It's just a blessing to see how God works. And, we, and God give us this result everywhere. everywhere. Sometimes preachers get mad with us. And they try to compete. I don't know why. We're not competing with nobody. No, you know. And they'll go to the same city we went to and don't baptize nobody. Nobody. Can't get nobody. Can't, get, can't even get a half pint first. <laughs> That's right. Not a midget, Pastor. Can't even get a midget. Not a midget. Thank God we go anywhere in the world and God just give us this victory all the time. All the time. Are you listening, Shade? Amen. 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 He give us this type of victory all the time. It makes my heart feel good to see these souls over there. 
getting ready to walk with God everlasting word. Hallelujah. I want the world to see this. That's right. What I'm telling St. Louis is what everybody got to do. All right, come on back tomorrow at 11 o'clock and come back again at 5 o'clock. We had y'all got we had some hard rain here in St. Louis. And some folk was calling, y'all still gonna have service? I, listen, I don't care if it was raining <laughs> fishtails. I didn't come all the way down here to sit around in some hotel room. I came down here to preach the word of God. I'm not a sunshine preacher. Just no, come not. out when the sun shines. The Bible says be instant in season and out of season. We don't care what the weather is. That's right. If the place stay open, we're going to make our way through that. That's right. Yeah? That's right. All right. Hey, Amen. Right. Let's get them together. Uh, what's the hold up back there? What's the hold up? They still getting things together? All right, they still get them together. All right, go on. God bless your heart. Get ready to march to water now. Oh, let you go. All right, family. Come on back on tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Let us all stand. Hallelujah. Brother Williams will close us out in prayer. Father God, we do come to you once again in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to thank you, Father God, for this wonderful meeting. Thank you, Father God, for the souls that desired and wanted to repent and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless them and help them, my God, where they stand in need at. Father God, remember all of us that are here this day. Bless us. Help us, Father God, not only to be hearers of the word, but doers also. Remember the man of God. Father God, continue to strengthen him. Continue to bless him and protect him. My God, continue to keep thine word in his mouth. My God, that he may declare the gospel of truth. We thank you, Father God, for everything that you've been to us and for all that you've done for us thus far. We do pray and ask all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.
Das ist so ein